I will never understand you. Every relationship is different. Well, obviously. I think you guys need to grow up. Modern relationships are based on something else. On degeneracy? No, on self-discovery. So, have you discovered yourself? Because, so far, it seems like she's the only one benefiting from this. Others seem to have discovered what it's she like down there. For me, it doesn't matter. What matters is that after so many dates, she realized that we are destined for each other. Maybe you should at least date someone else, so it would be fair. Have you seen what he got matched with? Horrifying. Yeah, maybe you are right. If you are supposed to date women of that caliber, then maybe it's better not to date anyone. Thanks for the compliment. No problem. Son, look, do you see this? Yes, Dad. That's what a failure of a man looks like. I'm sorry, who are you? A man and a father. Keep in mind, my child, that an individual who embraces a cuckold lifestyle resembles a metaphorical contagion, propagating a deviant behavior pattern that attempts to delude society into believing that all is well, when in reality, it's caused by unusual addictions and a deficiency of ethical principles. Ouch. I couldn't have put it better myself. I know, Pa. Be a man, son, not a cock. Okay, Dad. How do they know that? You can see it right away. I could have told him to mind his own business instead of criticizing others. Yeah, that would be a great idea. Did you see him? The guy was like three meters tall, he looked like a giant bear. He could break you with one arm. You could always tell him that if he doesn't touch you, you will arrange a meeting with him and your woman. Where are you going? To James's house. Do you have to? Silly, of course I do. I thought this episode was over. It's just a single night, at the end of the day, I'm with you. True. Can I go with you? What? Do you want to watch? No. I'd rather make sure everything is okay. Steven, don't be afraid. Everything will be fine. I hope so. Oh, you're the real deal. If I preferred him, I would have left you by now, and yet, I always come back to you. That's also true. You must feel like a real man now, knowing that others can't steal me from you. All right, I'm going. Will you help me with my bags? I've taken a few things. For a one night? Yep. See you tomorrow, I guess. Did you let her go? What was I supposed to do? Put a gun to her head? So, you're telling me she's with him now, after all this episode which is very, very disturbing, while you're sitting here with us and cope. I feel like throwing up. Then throw up. Go to the bathroom. If you vomit here, you'll pick it up with your own hands. I don't cope, after all. She comes back to me every day. I can't fathom that it doesn't bother you that while you're sitting at home, she's with some Chad. With James. Doesn't matter his name. The only thing that matters is that it's not you. What if she's thinking about me? Do you hear this guy? I hear him, and I can't believe it. If I were you. I would be on my way to where she is now unless you don't know where she went. I know. Then, go there. Kick down the door and say, ah. What can he say? Hands up. No, tell her it's over, and she should take her things and leave. She already did. But it doesn't bother me. You guys are messed up. When you think about it, what's the big deal? Just think about it for a moment. Before we met, she was with other men too. So what does it matter if she is with someone right now, or she was back then? I guess she went back to her old ways. You know what, I like you. You're a fool and a dumbass, but an honest dumbass. I'm finishing my shift, I can gather some guys and beat up that jerk for you. I don't care who it is. For free? No, nothing is free. Each of you will buy two bottles, and we have a deal. Well, we can't afford it. Too bad. What's wrong with your voice? Cancer. Maybe the problem is with you. Because she thinks if Steven doesn't care, and it doesn't matter to him, maybe he doesn't love me. Maybe she just wants to see if your love is real. You drunk. I'm hungry. Let's get a kebab. No, I need to do something. Well, finally. I'll go there and show her. That's the spirit. I'll go there and do it. Do what? Rachel, Rachel. Stop yelling! You're waking people up! I want to talk to Rachel, but I don't want to use the intercom right now. Is yelling under the building more appropriate? 
but you the one who yells. I'm calm as always. Rachel, some guy with a harmonica is looking for you. Should I go to him? Don't, just leave him, he'll go away. Rachel, I love you. Don't end this beautiful love. Please come back. Wait. Do you see this? Yes. This is not what we agreed on. Boy had to do what he had to do. This is madness. This is cuckoldry. The police might show up soon, so maybe we should bounce. Then drive. I've been drinking. Like everyone. Yeah, but if we get stopped, I'd rather be him to be driving. Why are you yelling? And who are you? James. Aw, oh, it's you? Nice to meet you. Are you sure about that? Why are you yelling at two in the morning? I wrote a song for Rachel. Come back tomorrow morning. I can't. Why not? Because I rented the accordion for an hour. Leave, or I'll go down to you and break your stupid instrument on your head. If you do that, you'll have to buy me a new one. I'll talk to him. Are you sure? Yes, just go to bed. I'll be back in a moment. Rachel, I love you. And if that's not enough, maybe my song will convince you. If you start singing, I'll call the police. And if I end up in jail, will you wait for me? No. Why not? How many signals do I have to send you so you will finally understand? I still don't understand. Steven, just leave. It's over. I won't go anywhere without you. I have nowhere to go. Go to your idiotic friends then. Did you hear what she said? I heard. That pigeon face bitch. I can give it to you back if you want? No, take this with you, or not, just leave it there. Alright, I'll take it. Steven, leave my slipper on the ground. Littering is a crime. It's misdemeanor. Still counts. A homeless person will come and take it. Open the door, and I'll give it back to you. If not, I'll take it. You're such an idiot, you know that? I know. I've gone crazy with my love for you. Rachel, please give me a chance. It'll be just like in your movies. We're in the middle of a movie where they argue, but maybe you don't understand it right now. But eventually, we'll get back together. Because we can't imagine life without each other. I doubt it. Every time you look at our photos together, you'll remember our love. I deleted all our photos. What about the ones I took with that old camera, framed and all? Those are still at your place. Where? Second left drawer in the bedroom. You sure? Yeah, under your socks. Possible. Go away, Stephen. Tell me what I'm missing, and I'll fix myself. You don't want to know. I do. He's twice, no, ten times a better man than you'll ever be. You mean in bed? Yes, Stephen, but that's not the only reason. Is there something more? I don't understand you young people. Instead of talking in private, you involve everyone in your business while waking up all the neighbors. We didn't wake up everyone. Yes, you did. I've been listening for several minutes now. I'm recording this shit. It's golden. I want to be in the video too. Steven, or whatever your name is, it's a bit embarrassing that you come here with your funny ass looking guitar where your woman has just left another man's bed. How do you know that? We could hear it. I recorded it too. Pigs. Let it go, boy. Never. Throw an egg or something at him. It will be even funnier. Please don't do this. You're just making people around the block turn against you with your behavior. You need to make a simple decision. Yes or no? No. Yes. Like kids. This is ridiculous. I'm going to bed. If you stay here and keep shouting, someone will definitely call the police. I will not see you anymore. So good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Don't let the bed bugs bite you. Yeah, whatever.